I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Well, there we have it. We have our location for Horson Jr. Maybe this will finally lead us to Ciri's location, but unfortunately in doing that uh, aspect of this quest line and picking up Eye for an Eye, the Gangs of Novigrad quest line is failed. I didn't complete it before this, and ah uh, well, I'm not going to cry about it. I wasn't really an that interested in it anyway. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards. The old king goes and makes a mention that the... That the, uh, what, what did he call it? The group of some gang leaders in Novigrad doesn't really exist anymore. So it's not really in his interest anymore to protect Horson. Horson was his puppet or whatever. But he's, well let's just say he's a terrible individual. So, hell. <laughs> it makes sense to sell him out. So here we are. We're here to collect. What we're going to end up seeing once we get in there and confront Horson is going to be a little bit disturbing. And up until now, I've been censoring a lot of the weird shit. <laughs> I'm not going to bother doing that here. A lot of these fight scenes can take a while, so I have to speed everything up. Plus, like, I'm showing me looting everything and then getting lost like an idiot. So, got to do what I got to do, right? Whoa! Dead body. What the sandwich fuck is this? Help me for fuck's sake! No one's coming. Hello, Junior. I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, that was... I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Wanna know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all! Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doo Doo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. Anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. So we're playing as Cirilla again, and something you'll notice a little bit later on is that the further along we get into this... Uh, Further along we get into this game, the more powerful Siri will become. And I guess because she's... They, they say something about Elder Blood. I don't really know the details of what the hell that is. She has, like, mage powers, and she also did some training to be a witcher, even though she's not actually a witcher. But she has a lot of powers like that right there, which are pretty powerful. The Plus, I think the game is Let's bound to make side. her sections of the game not particularly difficult. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. I wonder what weird animation glitch is happening to make it so she never actually draws her sword during that animation. <laughs> You know, it does get a little bit irritating when they characters are known by more than one name, and then they occasionally show it or refer to the character by one name as opposed to another. So this this ability where Siri teleports around is a new ability she has. Well, I mean, she could sort of like blink around, but this attack from multi-angle. Uh, an eye for 
aren't I? They're coming! Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Knowing that the guy had some kind of a shapeshifter, wouldn't these people be at least a little bit suspicious? Ask <laughs> of whenever. N you never mind. Maybe I'm overthinking that a little bit. This seems a little bit unnecessary, though. It seems like what would have been a little bit smarter for them to have done was for him to run out and do that little thing. Pretend to be Horson. And, and then uh, Siri just escapes through the window instead of fighting her way out of here. Unless it was necessary that all of the guards be killed so that Dudu wouldn't be discovered as a fraud. Maybe I'm still overthinking that. I think what it actually is, is they needed to have to fight. <laughs> they needed to have an action scene. And in the majority of the game, they probably would have gone and designed it so you did have the option of avoiding a fight. But since this is a Siri section, they want to they want to have you play a Siri for a little while in a fight. They just didn't have that option here. She doesn't... Uh, she takes damage. She takes more damage than... Uh, than Geralt does. But she also recovers her health. It's probably a balance thing. She also has that... Um, warp attack. But her attacks seem to do less damage. I don't know. It's probably because of the weapon she's using. Later on in the game, though, her attacks will do, like, massive damage. It's gonna be crazy. Siri will eventually become, like, an insanely powerful character. Which is why I think it would eventually be a kind of a mistake to have the next Witcher game, if there does end up being one, if CD Projekt can get their shit together. Because it's not going to make any sense, because she's such an overpowered character by the end of this, that it's, like, what game are you going to have playing as, like, a godlike character? It's not going to make any sense. Come on now. But such as things. That's what happened. Tell you true. Doo doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Ah, the fucker got what he deserved. You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. <laughs> 